In this video, we're going to um, to discuss a topic that we previously discussed in class, and this topic is how to rearrange a formula. Now, here we're going to uh, discuss more difficult rearranging formulae, and we're going to start with number one. We need to rearrange a into q minus c equals to d. And we need to have Q as the subject of this, this formula. So first we need, first step, we need to expand. So it's AQ minus AC equals to D. Then we take anything with Q, so any uh, variable or number with Q on one side. And everything else we take to the other side. Don't forget that since you're moving AC, we have to change the sign. And then we need to have Q alone without any coefficient. And here the coefficient is A. So we need to divide by A. So when you take it to the other side, you are dividing by A. And this would be your answer. Q on one side and everything else on the other side. And this is what we call rearranging so that Q would be the subject of the, uh, the formula. In number two, we need n to be the subject of the formula. So we take 20, minus 21 to the other side. You're going to have plus 21. Then we need to divide by 5. And this is what we did. Another example or part B, we need to make P as the subject of the formula. So whenever you see brackets, it means that you need to expand first. So we expand into 4p minus 8q equals to 3p plus 2. Now, we, since we need p to the, be the subject, we take p on one side and everything else on the other. So when you move 3p to the other side, you would get 4p minus 3p equals to 2 plus 8q. So now 4p minus 3p, it's 1p, which is equal to 2 plus 8q. So we have exactly so uh, made the p as the subject of the formula. In number 3, we have p equals to pi r plus 2r plus 2a, and we need to make r as the formula. Therefore, we keep the r's on one side and we take the others to the other side. So P minus 2A is equal to P minus 2A is equal to pi R plus 2R. Now, since we want R to be the subject, we need to factorize R. So P minus 2A equals to R outside pi plus 2. Now, we need R alone. Therefore, we divide by pi plus 2. Therefore, the answer is this one. In number four, we need A to be the subject of the formula. Therefore, here first we need to expand. And after expanding, we need to have A alone and the rest of the numbers to the other side, as we did here. So 6A equals to 5C plus 2c plus 1 collecting we would have 7c plus 1 so we need a alone to be the subject of the formula therefore we divide by 6 